Hi, I'm Mark Buzzard from San Francisco, California. Good morning, America. Woo! One of the major centers for board sailing in this country is San Francisco. It's ideal because of its variety of wind and water conditions for either the beginner or the expert. And one of those who has been on a sailboard longer than most is Glenn Taylor. When you're really going fast, the thing that you feel mostly is just the power of it all. That's what I like, is the power that, that you're able to harness and use. Just all, of, all that you can get for free out of all this uh, natural force. Glenn spied his first sailboard back in 1972 while chartering boats in Southern California. It looked easy enough from a distance, but he was in for a rude awakening when he tried it himself. Well, my absolute first experience was a disaster. The fellow who was on the boat with me took movies of me as I tried it, and we have documentary proof that I couldn't do it. I still have that film, and it shows me trying and trying and not making the thing work at all. Several days and many dips in the drink later, Glenn mastered the techniques and figured a lot of other people would like to as well. So he left his computer programming job to open up the first board sailing school in this country. Hold it a slightly further away from your body and push the sail against the wind. Okay, now push it back. I don't want you to turn around yet. Some 2,500 people have graduated okay, since. Students who started with a turn on a landlocked sailboard simulator That's designed by Glenn. Lots of small steps, moving slowly. Very good. Windsurfing is primarily small boat sailing. And you have to understand how a small sailboat works in order to make a windsurfer work. Hold that front arm bent close to you. Push out a little bit with your back hand. Most of the very exciting sports have uh, associated danger, but windsurfing is a safe sport. One of Glenn's students was his wife, Chris. And Chris is among those who favor freestyle action for board sailing show-offs. We've got a, a standard Olympic course set up out there. But where Chris likes okay, the tricks, Glenn is into taking home the trophies mostly, from races held round the world there, and at home in the Bay wow. Area. Racing is always a challenge because people keep getting better and better all the time. But it was Glenn who came out on top in the day's first round. Of course, I'd like to win, but that's not my real reason for being out here. Um, my real reason for being out here is for the entertainment of it. And uh, as long as I sail a good race, I feel good about whatever happens. It's a sport like uh, riding a bicycle or like downhill skiing. You do it whenever you can do it just because it's a way of getting away from pressures in the world. And uh, I enjoy the, the lifestyle.